right guys, I'm back today to do my version of the Anita Grant Rasul Clay Deep Conditioning Cubes. I forget exactly what it's called, but I think you guys know what I'm talking about. So let's just get started. I'm going to start with a third cup of Rasul Clay. I'm adding my dry ingredients first. I'm going to add two tablespoons of cocoa, all natural cocoa. So what I'll do now is just mix this up. Oops, making a mess already. Okay, that's mixed enough. I'll mix it some more once I add all the uh, wet ingredients into it okay so what I'm gonna do now is go ahead and take my cocoa butter it smells so good and I'm gonna use about two teaspoons I'm just gonna break it up Put it into this metal container so I can use a double boiler. Well, I'll use that top. I'll use that part in some hot water that I have boiling to melt it down. Oh, it smells so good. Next, I'm not sure how you pronounce this. Miru, Miru, <laughs> but let me put it here. Butter. This is not cheap. I ordered it online. I think this little thing was like twenty dollars. Um, I'm gonna do half. I'm gonna do half a tablespoon. Now this stuff smells just like blue cheese. I kid you not. Up and I'm going to use my double boiler. I'm going to use this as a double boiler inside a pot of hot water that I have boiling. And I'll do that and once it's melted I'll be right back. Okay guys so I'm back now. I've melted down my um, I'm sorry my butters as you can see here. So now I'll go ahead and add my oils. First I'm going to add some extra virgin olive oil and all of the ingredients that I'm using is actually um, it's in her recipe so this is her recipe to a tea not necessarily her measurements but yeah this is what she uses so um, I'm using half a tablespoon of olive oil oops well it's all going in the same thing please put it in the powder I meant to put it in the oil but it's okay um, I'm going to use where's my vitamin E I never buy vitamin E. I always use safflower oil because it's loaded with vitamin E. So I'm going to use a teaspoon of vitamin E. I'm going to use 
a teaspoon of honey. And when you put the oil inside the spoon before you measure our honey, it makes it the honey a whole lot easier to come out. See that? Okay. So those are all, all of uh, all of our ingredients. I'm getting tongue tied here. So I'm just gonna mix it all together here. Add it to the powder. And now for the fun part. This is my first time, so bear with me, guys. It smells so good. If you try this recipe at home, <laughs> do all you can to not eat this. Don't eat it. It's so tempting. It smells so good. It's so tempting. Now I have some silicone trays that I thought about using, but I figured for the first time I'd just go ahead and buy some regular ice trays and hopefully it'll pop out when it's ready. So you guys keep your fingers crossed for me. So I guess the consistency is um, like a frosting, I guess you can see. Now this is just the recipe that I came up with. You guys can give or take, it's up to you. Uh, who knows, I might change it in the future, but this is my first time and I decided to go with, with these measurements. So let's just take some. Drop it into the tray. Pat that down. I'm hoping that I come up with three cubes. Okay, so that's one. Two, it's gonna be tight, guys.
I'm trying to get every little bit. <laughs> Make the um, third cube. Well, 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 looky there. The clay is not cheap, and these butters are not cheap. Well, the cocoa butter wasn't so bad. I think I paid $15 for this little bitty container of clay. See how small it is? Okay. Alright guys, here we go. We have three. So I'm going to let these sit up and then I'll come back and um, I guess I'll Go ahead and do the whole thing, melt one down, and let you guys see what that looks like. So hold on tight, be right back. Okay guys, I'm back, let me try this again. Um, I started rec recording earlier, but I ran out of memory space, so I had to start over. But um, I set these in a freezer for about 30 minutes, and then I cracked it like regular ice. And this is what I have now, just like hers. I just don't have the dimple in the middle. And it smells just like chocolate. Got a little chocolate there. What do you think, guys? Worth trying? So what I'm going to do now is get some hot water and melt one down and let you guys see what that looks like. So hold on. Okay, guys, I'm back. So, um... I heated up some water in my Pyrex and I'm using about a quarter cup of water and one cube. So let's see how well it does. Okay, it's melting. I just gave myself a wash and a protein treatment yesterday, so I won't be using this on my hair today. So, what I'll do is um, probably give a couple of my subscribers one of these cubes and have them try it out for me. What do you guys think about that? So, if you haven't subscribed yet, please go ahead and subscribe today comment and like if you have any questions or comments please leave it in the box below okay it's melting really well maybe I should have put less water I think Anita Grant says to use 25 milliliters So yeah, use less water than I did. Probably half of what I used. Or if you have that measurement in your cup, 25 milliliters, go ahead and try that. But this won't go to waste. I'll use it probably on my daughter's hair. So we'll see, but see how well it melted. It smells just like hot cocoa. <laughs> so when you make this at home, don't drink it. But there you have it, guys. So if you are interested in trying this out, you know, let me know. Leave me comments, and maybe you'll be one of the lucky ones that I choose. So um, I look forward to hearing from you, and see you next time.